first of all i want to wish all the jubilarians the diamond golden and silver a very happy jubilee to you may the lord bless you abundantly may the lord continue to accompany you till your last breath that you may live your religious life and exercise your apostolate joyfully dear sister nora dear cloney sisters from various parts dear brothers and sisters sisters of other institutes of consecrated life my dear fathers who are con celebrating with me if at all one celebration that the lord himself has commanded us is that is jubilee not birthday or any other feast day but the jubilee is commanded by the lord himself as we heard in today's first reading from the book of leviticus chapter 25 it is a time of thanksgiving a time of pardon a time of setting the reset button going back to the original enthusiasm that you had in following the lord i am sure the diamond jubilarians golden jubilarians and also the silver jubilarians will feel like today they have made their first profession and then recommit themselves to jesus that is the meaning of the jubilee as the lord has commanded us in the gospel of today we heard two little parables jesus gives very beautiful the person who found the hidden treasure and then the person who was looking for a pearl of great worth one is accidental another is after a hard search whether you accidentally found christ or you were searching for him you were happy to find the treasure happy to find the pearl that jesus himself what was the response of both the persons they sold all that they had in order to possess the treasure the pearl in a way my dear jubilarians you sold also all that you had to possess christ gave up the family gave up so many other interests of this world and i really held on to christ till this day the lord will not disappoint you on this day our feeling is as we had today's responsorial psalm a beautiful psalm which gives us really joy comfort new life we have it for our morning prayer every sunday so full of life oh god you are my god maybe while singing we did not fully comprehend the depth of it now not only you i want to recite the same song together with this community you are my god my soul thirsts for you thirsting for god 
who alone can fulfill all that your heart desires my flesh also faints for you i have looked upon you in the sanctuary beholding your power and glory you have spent so many hours praying looking at the lord in his sanctuary seeing his glory and power because your steadfast love is better than life that's what i said right at the beginning the fidelity of god is stronger than your own fidelity your steadfast love lord is stronger than life my lips will praise you i will bless you as long as i live what beautiful words i will bless you as long as i live not only through my lips through my thoughts through my words through my actions lord my desire today on this jubilee day is this i will bless you i will praise you as long as i live really marvelous my dear sisters i don't want to read the rest of the psalm we are praying it often that is our whole life our hearts are filled with praise and thanksgiving today for all that you have done more than that for all that you have lived in your congregation living the three vows living the fraternal life in community the sisterly life in the community for being separate from the world to be united with the lord for having the heart of mary of bethany in order to have the hands of martha that was your life as sister tekla said at the introduction you had been a blessing doing your apostolate and touch the lives of so many and the lord is really happy about you rejoices in you saint paul writing to the ephesians in today's second letter says on his knees he is praying for his people today the whole community and all those who are far away who are interested in you who have grown through you or who have contributed to your growth are also are on their knees praying for you and with you what does st paul say today my dear sisters you must be strengthened in your mind being with power through the spirit it is a renewal i wish also that you are strengthened in your mind paul is praying for them we also pray for you that you may be strengthened in your minds then you see that christ may continue to dwell in your hearts what is important is christ dwells in your heart being rooted and grounded in love never lose the love that the holy spirit represents god's love is poured into our hearts and paul says writing to the romans in the fifth chapter through the spirit that is given us that you may have power to comprehend the breadth and length and height and depth of the love of christ so this is the prayer in a way i ask you also to make the same prayer to all your dear ones your family members your family of cluny sisters and so many others you have to pray for them and with them may all be filled with the love of god may all be filled with the love of god this is the prayer of send paul for them and finally what he says you have someone 
who is able to accomplish abundantly more than we can ask or imagine trust on him rely on him he can accomplish through you with you in your fragility in your brokenness in your helplessness he can accomplish everything to him be glory all glory and honor is only to him all glory and honor only to him we are gathered here to glorify him for these wonderful sisters for what they have done my dear sisters a little about religious life all christians are called to be true disciples they are all given the commandments the commandments are like taxes nobody can say i will not give you tax to the king then they will be punished all christians are given the commandments in your case what is special about religious life some noble people some generous people not only pay taxes to the king but also give gifts to the king you have given the gift of your life given the gift of your life total self you have given to god that is really marvelous you have given the gift of your life and today you have to tell the lord lord here am i i am coming to do your will lord here am i who am going to live simply in order to show my reliance on you lord here am i always doing working for your kingdom st paul says for a person you are taking up the vow of chastity st paul says and in matthew 19th chapter it is for a cause for the kingdom of heaven for a purpose for a person your whole vow the lord is today asking you how you are going to give this gift renew the giving of the gift how is it possible it is now possible when our we give a gift to some person we don't give we a worn out gift we don't give half of the apple after eating the other half before the gift we give should be known for its integrity and totality freshness my dear jubilarians give the lord the gift of your life totally in its integrity there are always two stages in every love story the first stage the person gives herself the person gives herself the second stage the person suffers for the beloved through suffering you show the love through suffering your love for the person is tested maybe you gave your work time energy so far maybe now the second stage begins for the beloved you need to suffer and glorify him through your life and conduct may the lord give you strength generosity courage to continue in thanksgiving you were continuous worship of him through your life and conduct may mary our loving mother intercede for you may saint joseph pray for you and may you all be blessed abundantly amen